you know, we often hear concern from neighbors about new buildings in neighborhoods, especially when there hasn't been a lot of market rate development um, recently, and, and even when there has been, a lot of folks mentioned uh, projects in, in my ward where there have been, you know, thousands of new units built in the past 10 years. Um, and, and, you know, I think this this body and the city council as well have to weigh this push and pull of the fact that our city is growing and our um, comprehensive plan and all of the sort of plans that go along with it are doing their best to guide that growth. But the reality is we have one of the lowest rental vacancy rates in the country and we have rising housing costs. Um, we have 51% of our city that is uh, homes that rent. And so all of those neighbors are at risk for displacement as their rents rise as more people move in. And so uh, we don't have, um, I have been working actually for many years and haven't quite gotten the political support we need to pass uh, an ordinance that would require uh, subsidized affordable housing within new market rate projects. And I am still working to build that support. Um, but we do not currently have a policy that says, you know, that we can require rents to be a certain um, amount in new developments. We hear that concern a lot from neighbors, but um, for now uh, we don't have any guiding regulations about, about um, requiring affordable units and new developments. Um, so that said, um, we do continue to have a need for these, house, these market rate housing units. And what we see in country, cities across the country is that when cities stop growth, um, stop new housing from being built, uh, rents continue to rise and neighbors are displaced. And so that's one of the things that I weigh as a policymaker, um, again, when we look at each individual development, is that greater context that housing uh, is needed in our city and has to go somewhere and all of the guiding documents that we have so far today uh, sort of direct them to places like activity centers um, like this one. And so this rezoning is that sort of policy decision about should we allow for this kind of development here, and that's the bigger context that I weigh when I look at these individual proposals.